Now I usually hold my tail here to help control my loop and later on it'll become your project. So you'll always be holding on your project and now this is where you want to to start pulling your yarn through your loop and start to crochet. Now what you want to do is come from underneath don't go don't go from behind go from underneath it's hard to show you but from here under here towards your fingers back here and you'll just wrap it around your hook now that you have this yarn on your hook your hook can actually grab it see now you have control of some yarn on your hook now in order to pull it through you don't want to have your hook facing up because if you do it's just going to grab your loop and there's no way you'll get it through the art and practice of this is to have it pointed down and to pull your string your yarn sorry through that loop and that's your first what's called a chain now if you have your string too tight and your loop is like this no matter if it's up down wherever you're not going to get it through so it's very important that you have it loose so if you need to loosen it up some just pull up and it will now be wide enough that you can get your hook through this is the size hook so you always have to have your loop here big enough to get your loop through but not so wide like this or it's such a big loop because if you go through that loop when it's so big you're gonna have that size loop look see now it's not even you have this huge loop and this little loop so you always want to make sure it's not too wide of a loop keep it down kind of loose and then you'll repeat it again you will go from under and then the art of it is pulling and twisting down at the same time most crocheters um, do, will do this I mean it's just it becomes automatic once you do this you're automatically twisting your hook downwards and pulling through the loop so basically the art of crochet is basically holding learning how to hold your yarn giving yourself enough space here and to keep your loop from getting too big or too small so you're controlling your loop size here and of course the art of twisting your hook down to pull through that loop now if you are having trouble with when you pull here that it's too tight you just can't get it through that loop see you can't do it it's because you are not uh, you're not holding it loose enough you're holding it too tight um, you need to be loose when you're pulling through because if you're pulling on your actual yarn like this as you're getting through it you may be you know not doing it on purpose you're pulling your loop smaller as you're pulling your your string through you'll never get it through so you have to be loose about it so just do it as loose as you you can just try to relax loop over and then without pulling on this yarn to shrink in your loop just pull your hook through and it's going to take a lot of practice controlling your feet of your hand and learning how to grab and, and twist down it's going to take a lot of practice i recommend getting a skein of yarn or maybe a ball of scrap yarn somebody gave you and just chain that whole thing and maybe even a few more balls until your chains become the same size like this see there's not like one big chain and then one teeny tiny chain they're all the same size which is the size of your loop here if you want to go for a smaller chain a tighter chain select a smaller size hook the bigger the hook the bigger the item that you're crocheting will be versus a small hook 
which will make it much smaller.